Honoring your parents does not mean submitting to their demons. Understand, when we're children, we can get hurt and wounded from parents that are hurt and wounded themselves, and they can be harsh to us. In fact, I've done thousands of sessions with adults who were hurt by their moms or their dads when they grew up because their moms and dads never were healed of their wounds, never could forgive those who hurt them, oftentimes their moms and their dads or sexual violations. So of course, when we're kids, we don't really have any place to go. Uh, and we should obviously honor parents that are godly, that are pure the way that they should be. But once we become an adult, once we turn like 18, we move out of the house, if a parent is not healed of their wounds, not delivered, and they're still uh, being tormented by their own demons, then they're going to say things and do things to hurt us and wound us more. And it uh, doesn't mean, you know, honoring a parent doesn't mean submitting to their demons and allowing them to speak into us and hurt us even worse. You know, good sense means to pull away until they can treat us the way that they should. So even Jesus talked about this. Matthew 10, 34 through 39 says, do not think that I came to bring peace on earth. I did not come to bring peace, but a sword, for I have come to set a man against his father, a daughter against her mother, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And a man's enemies will be those of his own household. He who loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And he who loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And he who does not take his cross and follow after me is not worthy of me. He who finds his life will lose it, and he who loses his life will, for my sake, find it. So in many cases, uh, the best solution is to put a boundary around yourself with a parent that is toxic. If a mom or a dad is not willing to humble themselves, get their wounds healed, and get delivered, then their demons are intent on trying to hurt you and wound you for the rest of your life. And so it's wise to pull away, to maybe even block them if you have to, um, and then try to get them healed and delivered if they're willing to, many times they're not. Again, I've written a book called Freedom from Soul Wounds and Demons. It's available on Amazon. A lot of people are reading it. A lot of people are getting healed of their wounds and delivered of their demons so they can actually treat people.